The Speedy Sloth It was finally time for the event of the year. Spike couldn't believe it. The great race was here. The other sloth said it couldn't be done. No, nope, you're dreaming. You're a sloth. Huh? But Spike didn't care. She was ready to run. See, Spike likes to think that hard work pays. So she'd been in the gym for the last seven days. She checked her laces and prepared to soar. Her mum wished her luck as she jogged out the door. Be back for dinner. You'd better be ready. I'm cooking your favourite, she called out. Spaghetti! The others looked fit. The others looked quicker. They looked at the sloth and tried not to snicker. The races lined up. Then the starting horn blew. Spike took off fast. Her furry feet flew. She bolted like lightning. She practically soared. There was no sloth who'd ever run faster before. She sprinted so fast. She was all but a blur of speed and technique and sweaty sloth fur. Snail overtook her, but that guy was a beast, as fast as a race car, or push bike at least. In fact, Spike was trailing. A loris, a grub, a hare and a tortoise, a mischievous cub. A moonwalking meerkat. An old armadillo, a daydreaming cougar, a chimp who loves flipping, a burrowing mole, a giraffe prone to tripping, and an elephant riding a broken down scooter. All that remained was Peter the Cheetah, who bolted ahead shouting, Ha ha, I beat ya! Spike was exhausted, she had to admit, but she'd come so far, there was no way she'd quit. It was there, she could see it, a fallen down sign. She grinned and leapt over. The finishing line! The other sloths gasped, they reeled back unsteady. Look there, it's Spike. She's back already. Yes, Spike was slow, but for a sloth, she was fast. And yes, it is true that this sloth came last. But Spike didn't care. She was a winner. And she'd made it back home in time for her dinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.